morning guys welcome back to day 26 of October we are doing another Halloween image I have I'm thinking well, <laughs> I have some ideas of the next upcoming images uh, sorry I'm cutting my cardstock <laughs> Um, I am thinking, and hopefully it turns out really good, but in the next few days I'm going to be making some treat bags with some goodies with some Inktober images. So I think, hopefully it turns out good. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We need five and a quarter, so we're going to want... Trying to decide where I want my slant. Actually, that might be good right there. But I want it going the other way, actually. So we'll do the. One inch. Yeah. I think that will look good. Okay. Oh, forgot to score my card base. That's kind of necessary. But I know I said that I was going to do more fall images towards the end, but I want to do some treat, uh, trick or treat bags. So there's going to be a few more Halloween images. I think. I'm pretty sure, unless like I'm making them and they just don't turn out good. But I'm hoping they turn out pretty good. So this one is another Halloween image, but this is just going to be a card. Because I thought it would look really good as a card. So we're just going to do a slant. And then I have some baker's twine. I'm going to put a line of tape going down here. And I'm going to have it go, I'm going to wrap it a few times to cover up that stickiness and because I want the look of it being layered. And then I also want a bow. Well, let's wrap it one more time, I think. I think that'll look good. Maybe even another time. Uh, no, I like that. Let me cut the excess off here. This is going to be a very orange card. <laughs> Make a bow. Cut off the excess. ribbon there. Put our bow on. And I also want a sentiment. Even though it's, the thing does say boo, I want an extra... Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I actually think I want to add some leaves. I don't know. Let me color this first and then we'll decide. Kind of had an idea, but now everything is just changing. <laughs> Alright, I want orange for the... Oops, I don't want brown. Orange for the flowers. So this is French 
vermilion. And that can be messy because I'm just going to cut it out. I'm going to do both of the flowers in the French vermilion. Or I guess three of them. <laughs> and then I want a gray. So let's do 24 CG for the bats. And I want orange for the banner. Oh, actually I'll do a light gray for the spider web. A 20 CG should look good. Oh, sorry guys. I don't know why I keep doing that. Actually, I know what, what it is. I moved all my markers back, so I keep going towards my markers, and in turn it makes me move my image. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't think about that when I moved my markers. All right, now we want an orange. So let's just do no a normal orange for the banner. Make sure we get the little insides of the letters. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Just so I don't forget them. Because I know that's going to happen. I'm going to forget something. As I said, this is going to be a very orange card, so I'm going to try and keep everything fairly orangey. And I'm going to do a fluorescent orange for the boo. So we're going to do the 122F. <clears throat> Those caps stick on so well. And then for the frame, I don't know if I want to make it orange or gray. I'm kind of thinking gray. A 23 CG. I might regret it. I might not. But we're going to do it. It's okay. I think I should have done the bats in the 23 CG and the frame in the 24 CG. I think that would have looked better. Now you could make this a mirror by just doing a light gray on the inside with like a um, actually you know what I'm going to do it I'm going to show you how to make the mirror so I'm going to do the 20 CG on all of the inside I don't have much 20 CG left but Hopefully it allows me to do this. I know I keep saying that with all my markers and then they end up working, but one of these days it's not going to work and I'm going to be sad. So this is one of those times that it's kind of okay for it to be a little messy. Um, just because when you're looking at a mirror, it's going to look kind of warped if you're not looking at it looking at it in like the right direction and especially if it's like an older mirror it's 
it's going to look a little warped. And you kind of want some white spots left over because that's going to give you a little bit more of an illusion. Okay, so now I'm going to take my darker, uh, let's do the 23 CG. I'm going to make my, ugh, never mind, let's do the 24 CG for my, oh shoot, I just made a boo-boo. I gotta blend this boo-boo out here. There. Alright. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> um, so with the mirror, you're just going to make some white lines. And that's going to give you the illusion that it's reflecting light. You probably can't tell a difference on camera, but it, you can tell off camera. Alright, so now we're going to fussy cut this out, and it will go on our card. Oh, I was saying if you wanted to make it a frame rather than a mirror, like just a empty frame, you could do the background in like a design like you could just do polka dots with your orange markers or you could cut it out and then that you know of course will just be a frame <laughs> cut it out with an exacto knife but either way it looks really cool it has a lot of possibilities and I think it looks really cute it's a very elegant kind of like a spooky house, a haunted house rather than uh, like a, <laughs> like clowns and you know that kind of stuff. It's more of an elegant ha uh, Halloween. <laughs> okay, we are now cut out. I want to pop it up on some foam tape, scissors. I think I might add some orange colored bling to it. I want my bow to show. So we're just going to stick that right on in there. Get my bling here. I'll keep my bling near. Let's do French Vermilion. We'll do three pieces. And remember if you're going to color your bling with your alcohol markers, make sure you're using an alcohol marker that you don't care about because the bling will kind of, you know, mess up your marker. Even if you're really soft, I, I tend to notice it. Uh, the nibs are just so precious. They're uh, really susceptible to damage. All right, so now I can stick these on. All right, and there's our card. Ooh, it looks so good. It kind of looks a little different on camera. The shades are a little bit weird, but it still looks good. So there is our card. Now you could add a sentiment as well, you know, it's kind of up to you. This design is really flexible. So I hope you guys like this digi. And don't forget to head on over to my Facebook page. Oh my gosh, my Facebook page <laughs> to collect it. And don't forget to uh, use it up because it's pretty cute. <laughs>
All right, guys, I hope you're having a crazy day. Not too crazy, good crazy, not bad crazy. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. We're almost done, guys. Isn't it weird? <laughs> All right, guys, see you tomorrow.